Okay, welcome to math class today. Today we will learn and discuss very, very large numbers. We will take a look at all the stars, galaxies, and the big mass in our universe. And maybe everyone knows what the light year means. So we will take a look at light year and we will try to understand them a million, trillion, quadrillion, which we had learned before. So let us start our lesson. So very large numbers is our, our title. So very large numbers. First of all, we will take a look at the distances. Now, in our daily life, as you know, we are measuring distances using time almost every day. Let me give you an example. How long uh, is it? Sorry. How long is it? from your home to your school. Let's say about 10 minutes. We are using time for measuring this distance. And how long is it from Sarajevo to Tuzla? About 2 hours. And from Los Angeles to Sydney, Thirteen, the 13 hours. Thirteen. Fourteen. Yes. Fourteen hours. Fourteen hours. But as you can see, we are using here ten minutes, two hours, fifteen <coughs> minutes. But in fact, we really mean is that from school, from house, from our home to school, ten walking minutes. Here, two car driving. Yes. Driving, we can say two car hours, and here 14 plane hours. As you can see, when we are explaining distances between two objects, it may be home or school or two cities or uh, maybe uh, stars, maybe we won't use the hours and the minutes for the distance between two stars, we will use time measurement units. Today, we will take a look at the stars. We will take a look at our sun and our earth. And we will try to define the distance between our sun and the earth, our, let's say, the earth and the moon, and two uh, galaxies, with distance between two galaxies. So, let me show you. So this is our Earth. We live on it, as you know. So we have a satellite, well-known satellite. What's the name of that? The moon. Object moon. Do you know the distance between the moon and the Earth? 380,000 kilometers. Kilometers. In fact, uh, in a space term, they are very close. In a space term, they are very close. Yes, something like that. But we will use a different measurement system, as I said before. Light. Light year. I will explain the meaning of light to you later. So, in a time measurement unit, like remember the example between Los Angeles to uh, Sydney, 14 hours. Here, 1.3 light seconds. Just one second from Earth to the Moon. 1.3 light second. We will take a look at light later. Then, we know the closest star. What's our star? We have a star. It's Sun. So, do you know the distance, or do you remember the distance between the Sun and the Earth? Yes. Eight minutes. Yes, you are right. Eight minutes. What about the kilometers? 150,000 kilometers. So, yes, you are right. Eight light minutes. What does it mean? It takes uh, some yes. light. Yes, uh, it eight takes minutes. eight minutes to yes. cover that 150,000 kilometers journey to touch your skin. Just eight minutes. <coughs> and, do you know our galaxy? Where do we live? Milky Way. Yes, you are right. We have a Milky Way galaxy. And we are somewhere here. Our solar system is here. 
And this is, a, of course, it's impossible to take a picture like that. It's just radiation. Yes, illustration. But scientists and I mean, astronomers, they took lots of pictures and they gave us this illustration. Let's say we have a point A here and point B here. You know the distance between the point A and B. Or do you know the diameter of it's something like a circle, as you can see, of our galaxy? It's unbelievable. And it, in fact, it's hard to imagine. It is 100,000 light years. We'll take a look at light here. I'll explain the meaning of light here. Now, we just were taking uh, some uh, examples. And, do you know the closest galaxy? Milky Way is our galaxy. What is the closest galaxy? There are billions of galaxies, of course. You know that name, you are familiar with that name. It's called Andromeda. It's a real picture. It's not the illustration. This is our neighbor. Real. Yes, real picture, Andromeda galaxy. But what is the distance? between the Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy. It's crazy. It's unbelievable. It's hard to imagine. The distance is two and a half million light years. Two and a half million. Now, let's take a look at light here. What does it mean? Just remember these distances. Eight minutes, two and a half light years. What does it mean, two and a half light years? <laughs> if you look Andromeda galaxy from our solar system, we are seeing as it was two and a half million years ago. <coughs> Did you understand this? Yes, yes. Now, if you look Andromeda galaxy from our solar system, from Earth, so we are seeing as it was two and a half million years ago. It means if something is happened there, now, we will see, we will see that, that happening two and a half million years later. Of course, we cannot see. But someone, maybe, will see two and a half million years later. Then, let's take a look at light year. Do you know the speed of light? It's very big. Yeah. Yes, and as you know, Einstein said us, light is the fastest known thing in the universe. Fastest. Nothing can travel faster than light. So, and as you know, the speed is, they are using C for that, 300,000 kilometers per second. What does it mean, per second? Close your eyes, open, and the light can travel around the Earth seven times. Close your eyes and open, light will reach to the moon. Remember, 1.3 light seconds. The distance between the moon and the Earth is 1.3 seconds. So the speed of light is 300,000 kilometers. You know that, per second. And nothing can travel faster than light. In fact, there is something, electricity, one wire, same speed, radio waves, again the same speed. I mean, 300,000 kilometers. Let me give you an example. For example, we are talking a man who lives in a uh, uh, moon, and you say, hi, hello, then he will hear your sound 1.3 seconds later. And electricity, again, it has the same speed on the wire, 300,000 kilometers. You know that. So what about light year? We have an idea. Remember the, our first example, we are measuring the distances using time units. So light year is the time units or it's something to measure distances. Yes, light year means 
a light field is a distance that light travels in one year at a speed of 300 kilometers per second. Can you imagine that distance? Yes. Ah, yes. <laughs> Can you wait in terms of kilometers? Do you have an idea? One second, 300,000 kilometers. This is one second. Times what? How many seconds? 60 seconds. Why? Because in one minute there are 60 seconds. Now we are trying to calculate the light here in terms of kilometers. Times what? 60. Because we have 60 seconds. Times? Times what? 60 again. Why? Because we have 60 minutes. Times? 24. 24. Because each day has 24 hours. Times 365. In fact, we have plus 60 hours, but it doesn't matter. So it gives you, it gives you the light year in terms of kilometers. But don't worry, I will do math for you. So it is 60 seconds, 60 minutes, 24. Who wants to read this number? It is very, very large number. So. Yes? Who wants to read this number? Nine billion. 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 Nine trillion. Nine trillion. Nine trillion four hundred sixty billion seven hundred thirty million four hundred seventy two thousand five hundred eighty one kilometers. As you can see, it's difficult to say that number, pronounce that number. But shortly, one light year. How far light travels in one year? Light year means that. Of course, we want that kilometer. So. Let us continue. We are talking about very, very large numbers. So, let us watch this beautiful video about the stars and largest, of course, stars. Canis Majors. 
Number one, it is the largest known star in our universe. It's not the largest one. Largest known star. There are billions of stars. There are billions of galaxies. It's just one of them. But we are lucky because it's in our galaxy. Canis Majoris in our galaxy. So, what about the distance between our Earth and the Canis Majoris? Can you guess the distance? Two billion light years. So, the distance from the Earth is 5,000 light years where you are sitting right now. So the distance between the Earth and the Canis Majoris is 5,000 light years. 5,000 light years. It's hard to imagine. If you will read that, but you will get that number. You know the meaning of 10 to power 12? You have 12 zeros at the end of this number. It's a scientific notation, as you know. You know the meaning of 10 to power 12. 5,000 light years. What a great distance. And it's the largest known star. Now I will show you how big it is. And Canis Majoris is equal to, it's a mathematical equation, 7 times 10 to the power 15. Do you know that number? If you have 15 zeros at the end of 7, it's, if you have 6 zeros, million. 9 zeros, billion. 12 zeros, trillion. 15 zeros, quadrillion. So, Canis Majoris is 7 quadrillion Earths. In other words, you can fit 7 quadrillion Earth inside the Canis Majoris. Inside the Canis Majoris. Again, it's crazy, unbelievable. We cannot imagine that quantity. But I will give you some examples, you will understand. So, let me give you some examples about the Canis Majoris. First of all, it is the largest known star, I said it. And Canis Majoris is 5,000 light years away from us. And maybe this example gives you a bit idea. If our sun were replaced, retired, let's say, you may go, you are retired, go to your home, we don't need, I mean, sun. So now we have a new sun, new star, it's called Canis Majors. Is that a good idea? No. 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 Why? Because its surface might extend to the orbit of Saturn. Till the orbit of Saturn, everything <coughs> will be the Canis Majoris. We will be inside of the Canis Majoris. Earth will be inside of the Canis Majoris. It's not a good idea. So, it's very big, huge, enormous. So light, remember light. Close your eyes and open it. In one second, light can travel around the Earth seven times. Close your eyes and open. It will reach the moon, but here, Canis Majoris, light will take more than eight hours, more than eight hours to travel around the star circumference. Eight hours around the star circumference. Between the sun and the earth, eight minutes, remember, eight minutes, eight by <coughs> six minutes. But here, around the star, you need 8 hours at the speed of light, 300 kilometers per second. And it will take over 7 quadrillion Earths to fill Canis Majoris, I said it before. So, 7 quadrillion is really, really big number. Let us try to understand the meaning of 7 quadrillion. I will, let's take a look at... But now let us compare with this size. This is our Earth. We we'll live somewhere here. Both days somewhere here. So, let's take a look at our Earth. It's not small, but now it's 
something like a point now, you will see. This is our sun. Remember the video? You can fit one million Earth inside the sun. You can fit one million Earth inside the sun. Then, this is our sun. What about famous measures? This is famous measures. Our sun is somewhere here. It's just a point. Can you imagine yourself here? Yes. Earth. No. We will be something like microscopic here. Earth will be here. It's just a point somewhere here. This is Keynes measures. It's real. It's not a story. And okay, now let us try to understand the very large numbers. So one million. What is the meaning of one million? Let's take a look at the example in this way. Let's say Damir Peshtiya. I saw my friend Damir one million seconds ago. What does it mean? <coughs> it means 12 days ago. One million seconds ago means 12 days ago. Let me give you another example. You are crazy and you want to write the number from one to one million. Assume that you are writing you are writing each number in one second. So you will need 12 days. 12 days to write all the numbers from one to one million. Without sleeping, without eating, without doing anything. You will need 12 days. What about one billion? I saw my friend Dr. Beshlia one billion seconds ago. Or I am again crazy, I am trying to write the numbers from one to one billion without sleeping, without eating, without doing anything. I have enough time. So, 33 years. So, or you can count. No need to write. If you want to come from 1 to 1 billion, you will need at least 33 years. 33 years. 1 billion. We cannot imagine that number. And next step, 12, remember 9, 12 zeros, what's the name of that number? 12 zeros. Yeah. Trillion. Trillion. So, I want to count from 1 to 1 trillion, so can you guess how many Lots. years will it take? Lots. Approximately 33,000 years. 33,000 years. 1 trillion seconds means 33,000 years. And Quadrillion, remember, we are trying to understand the meaning of seven quadrillion Earth. Canis Majoris and our Earth. So, one quadrillion, it means approximately 31 million years. 31 million years. You want to count from one to one quadrillion? You will need at least, at least 31 million years. Now, let's take a look at our star, largest known star, Canis Majoris. It's our sun. Of course, we cannot talk about our Earth. And of course, I'm humankind. So, rather microscopic. No. So, this is our Canis Majoris. And you can fit seven quadrillion Earth inside the Canis Majoris. Let me give you some interesting examples. Seven quadrillion seconds, it means 215 million years. Seven quadrillion seconds. And maybe this example will help you to understand 
the difference between the earth and the Canis <coughs> uh, So if the earth were a coin, 1 km, this is going to represent our earth. So if the coin were our earth, Canis Majoris would be the area of for Turkey. You know Turkey, All area, area of Turkey. Yes. All area of Turkey. This is our earth. Canis Majoris will be four times Turkey. It will cover four times Turkey. That area. Can you imagine that area? Earth and Canis Majoris. It's hard to imagine. But it gives us a bit uh, idea. Another example. And now this is going to represent our Earth. If the, our Earth were a ping pong ball, this ball, now this is going to represent our Earth. What about Canis Majoris? Canis Majoris would be the we cannot imagine that kind of ball, but the height of that ball will be the Mount Everest from the sea level. From the sea level to the top point of Mount Everest. This is Earth and Canis Majors. We cannot compare them. Seven quadrillion means this. Just go to Nepal. It's Nepal, is it? Kathmandu, Mount Everest, and take this ball. And take a look at this ball and the Mount Everest. This is Earth, and that one is Canis Majoris. It's a star, it's just a star, nothing else. And one more example. If the Earth were a human cell, human cell, we cannot see the human cell without using microscope. So approximately there are 100 million cells on human body. So what about the case of the <coughs> If the earth were a human cell on your body, Canis Majoris will be the sum of the cells, all of the human cells, among 140 people. We are talking about cells which you cannot see without using microscope. And that is the difference between the Earth and the Canis Majoris. And at the end, let me give you a simple example. Let's say I'm so rich. I am so rich. And Canis Majoris is mine. Canis Majoris is mine. And I want to share my stock with my friends. Let's say I have seven billion friends. Now, today, I don't know the exact number, but seven billion people, they are living on Earth. Am I right? Six. Seven billion. Yes. Let's say seven billion. Yes. And I am so rich, Canis Majors is mine, and I want to share my star with my friends. Then, let's say, Benin. What will you get? Can you guess that count the number? Small. Read the size of the earth. Uh, you can say in terms of earth. You will get one earth. Is it enough for you? No. <laughs> you will be happy. If you have one earth, everything will be yours, then you will be happy. But that number is unbelievable. Let me explain it again. I have the Canis Majoris and I'm sharing Canis Majoris among 7 billion people. And everyone will get one or two or three. No. Two thousand. Be careful. No. Are you ready? <laughs> you cannot believe that one, but it's real. <gasps> everyone. Even you. Look <laughs> at Seven million Earth. It's unbelievable. So I'm sharing my star 
among my friends, and everyone will get seven million Earth, not one, two, or thousand, or hundred, seven million Earth. And let's take a look at our star again. It's just a small star. It's just a point in the universe. It's in Milky Way galaxy. 5,000 light years away, where we are sitting right now, that star. And there are billions of stars in our galaxy. Billions of stars. And there are billions of galaxies in our known universe. Be careful, known universe. Because we don't know the universe. Just we can observe some of the universe. So just the known universe, there are billions of galaxies. Each galaxy has billions of stars. Canis Majoris is just one of them. One of them. It's just a point. And Earth. It's our planet. And on Earth there are billions of, as you know, creatures. And just look at yourself, woman, and cell. And this is macro and there's micro. I mean, you may take a look at cell, DNA, structure, and so on. We have two ways. And it's hard to imagine again. It's, we cannot understand that big quantity. But very large numbers. Now today, we are talking about very large numbers. I think now you know the meaning of billion, trillion, million, and quadrillion. Do you know the next step? If you have 18 zeros, what will happen? Yes, you are right. Quintillion. So, let me write and we will finish our lesson. First of all, we have million. We have six zeros. 10 to the power, six. Then, billion. How many zeros? Nine. Nine. Each step, we will add three. Trillion, quadrillion, now I think you know the meaning of quadrillion now, 15 zeros, and the next one is quintillion. What is the next step? Hexillion. Yes, it goes on like that, Latin, you know, the numbers. So. Million, billion, trillion, quadrillion, quintillion. Now, when you talk about the numbers, now you must be careful. I mean, I can count from one to one billion easily. Just uh, today I will count. Uh, just I need two or three hours. No, impossible. Remember, 30, three years for the million. That's it. So this is the end of our lesson. Do you have any question about the large numbers, Canis Majoris, or Sun, and the Earth? I think we don't have any questions. Thank you very much.